I passed Flacco, cuz. What made your punk ass go post a motherfucking video of me, nigga, do Kyron content of me and Quando Rondo, nigga? On the dead homies with all the shit that I got going on right now. All the shit that you see a nigga going through, cuz. Nigga, supposed to be my partner running content on some, on some murder shit? Try to put a nigga in the middle of, like, come on, gang. Like, nigga, now when a nigga, listen, run that content one more time, nigga. Kill Squad gonna be in the streets on your ass. You gonna be the first motherfucking example, nigga. I'm good. Nigga, I'm gonna holler at you when I get back to L.A. too, nigga. Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And this story been old to me. It's been old to me for a minute. I could have sworn that Trap Lord Ross was the first one to even mention something like this, to even bring it to my attention anyway. A brick baby, the guy who kind of mad about everything being said himself, he said in the interview, I think it was in No Jumper on the little podcast, said that they can't say Lil Dirk can't get his get back no more because of Lil Pab. He said that out of his mouth. I seen him say that shit. I've been seeing it. And Brick Baby, in my eyes, he just said too much on a few occasions. Even when he got mad recently and he crashed out, supposedly, uh, he. He just said, he be saying too much. And now he mad about what he said, and I get it. Because it's your co-worker pretty much stabbing you in the back. But if you look at how No Jumper was built, because I've been watching this shit since Adam was bald head before the hair transplant. I'm put it like that. I've been watching the No Jumper since before the hair transplant. Just as a little for, source of entertainment. I like podcasts and documentaries, bios and shit. But motherfucking, um, back to the topic. Um, they was built on back doing their own homies. Look what they did to House Phone, even though that was some, eh, you know, some some sugar in the tank type shit. Um, Adam Twenty Two still said House Phone was his friend, and he exposed that to the world. So you can't be surprised now that it's happening to somebody who feel like he's a street dude, and he really feel disrespected because who is poetic Flocko in his eyes? Now, how everything going? It ain't gonna end up with poetic Flocko getting hurt because he already called the police on Zunem. He already called the police on OTF Zunem and um, all that other shit and just pretty much willing to take it to that next level. In my eyes, Poetic Flacco really um, kind of starting to like show himself to be like another version or a copy clone version of DJ Academics. Like That's the, his, his take on everything, even down to how he talk. Um, with the little weird stutter, he just got more of a little stutter. But it's like, look at him though, bro. Like he look like he a, and they both are some type of islanders. I act like Jamaican, shorty ass, like Haitian, and he a Muslim, something like that. I don't know. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.